When iPadOS 26 was first announced, we all immediately fell in love with the new liquid glass design and the new multitasking app management. And I've covered a ton about it in a lot of videos regarding how iPadOS 26 takes the experience next level. But one thing that we haven't been discussing much is the Files app because that too got a huge upgrade this year. And honestly, it changes the way you manage documents, photos, and even apps on your iPad. So in today's video, I'm breaking down eight new features that make the Files app feel more more like a desktop level file manager and how it improves productivity while still keeping that iPad simplicity. The first thing I want to talk about is the new menu bar. Now, this obviously is not a file specific feature as you get the menu bar in all applications, but it's nice and works very well just like it does on a Mac. Now, this only appears when you're using Stage Manager or Windowed apps, and you can access it by moving your cursor to the top of the screen or swiping it down. Now, when you were using the Files app in older versions of iPadOS, you were stuck with just the sidebar, which is fine, but this new menu bar gives you quicker access to things like app options and Windows window controls. Think of it as Apple bringing some of that Mac style menu navigation directly onto the iPad. But where things get great in the Files app is that you get this new Go menu. It's a lifesaver for anyone juggling lots of projects. So instead of constantly digging through folders, you can instantly jump to recent folders, favorites, or even network drives. And here's my favorite part. There's now a go to folder option. So if you know the exact file path, you can type it in and go straight there. For example, if you're working on client projects that are buried three folders deep, you can skip the clicks and land right where you need to be. The second thing I want to discuss is view options. Now, this one is all about customizing how you see your files. You can now toggle between icons, list, or columns, and each one has its perks. Icons are perfect for visual people, so it's great if you're browsing design mockups or images. You can even adjust the size to fit more or fewer files on the screen. List view is better when you've got long file names or need details like size and modification date. And you can even resize columns. So if you're managing music files, for example, you can stretch the artist column to see the full names. And then columns view is my personal go-to because if you're working with deeply nested folders, say an archive of documents, you can see each level side by side like on macOS Finder. The third feature is folder customization. So now you can add color coded tags or even emojis to folder names. For for example, maybe you've got a folder for video, so you could add a video emoji and make it green, or a folder for personal photos where you can add a camera emoji and make it yellow. This makes scanning through files way faster and adds some fun personality to your workspace. Now, this one was widely requested for the longest time, and that is setting default apps for file types. And this is big for productivity. For example, if you prefer opening videos in another application instead of the current default one set, you can make that happen now. And this works not just for videos, but also images, text files, or pretty much any supported format. So you know that annoying open with option that you get every single time? Well, you won't get that anymore because now you can just double tap a file and it now opens where you want it to open. Another underrated but super useful feature is keep downloaded. Let's say you've got travel documents or a presentation that you'll need while flying. Well, mark it with keep downloaded and it'll stay on your iPad even if you lose internet access. It's like pinning files for offline access. Perfect for students, professionals, or anyone who works on the go. All right, this one is all about speed. And for the longest time, I've been wanting to pin documents on the home screen so that it's easily accessible and I don't have to keep going into the Files app to search for them. And Apple did something even better with iPadOS 26 that fulfilled this wish of mine, as you can now add folders directly to your dock just like you would on a Mac. For an example, when I'm in LumaFusion editing videos, before I would have to keep importing files from a certain folder in files. Now it wasn't difficult to do, but I hated to keep searching for new audio and video files that I recently downloaded. But now when I'm working on a video, I just open up my downloads folder in the dock and I drag the file into my app. It's literally all one tap away, no more digging through layers of files. And you can view them as a grid or fan right from the dock itself, just like on macOS, and you can choose which folder you want in your dock. Now I wanna talk about quick actions because this one surprised me with how versatile it actually is. So for example, on images, you can quickly rotate, markup, 
convert to PDF, or even remove the background with just one tap. For example, if you have an image and you just want to remove the background, in seconds you can do that. And not just that, I can immediately just drag and drop it into my studio app from GoDaddy where I'm working on my video thumbnail. Literally no Photoshop is required and it's quite cool to see how instant and fast this works. On PDFs, you get instant options to mark up or even optimize the file size, which is great if you're emailing documents and don't want to send a giant file. I will say that this doesn't work with every file type, but for images and PDFs, which are the two most common formats, it's a massive time saver. And I'm sure with future updates, the support for file types will only broaden. So these are eight big upgrades in the Files app with iPadOS 26 that takes productivity next level. And these were features that were already on the Mac and I've been wanting them for the longest time on the iPad, but now they're here. And Apple clearly wants the iPad to feel more like a real computer. And these changes directly push it in that direction. Personally, I love the columns view, adding files to the dock and quick actions because to me, they're all game changers when it comes to productivity and how I manage content every single day. But I love to hear from you. Which of these features are you most excited to use or have been using? So let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoy iPad productivity focused content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot more deep dives and iPadOS 26 coming soon. So stay tuned for those videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.